How's it going guys? My name is Mike and I am from the Lehigh Valley area here in Pennsylvania and this is my 2000 E39 M5. Uh, I've been watching E39 source videos for quite a few years now and I've met a couple of the guys in person at shows so I figured it was about time for me to go ahead and make an introduction video for my car. It um, ha currently has 129,000 miles on it. it is a molar red over a molar red. Production date is October of 1999. It was previously my dad's car. He had it for about two and a half years and he bought it with 87,000 miles on it. It currently have 129,000 miles on it. When, it. when it was mine, it had about 100,000 on it. So I've had to do quite a good amount of maintenance on it over the years. Pretty much a lot of typical E39 issues. Um, one of the things I haven't had to touch yet is the Vanos. That was done by a previous owner. They had a um, aftermarket warranty on the car and had the Vanos units completely replaced with the updated units at a BMW dealer. That was probably about 10 or so years ago at a, in about around 77,000 miles. So that is still pretty quiet, no issues there. Um, some of the things I have replaced, the crank position sensors, all four of them are on the back of the engine bay, those were all replaced. I have replaced the uh, MAF sensors, I've replaced valve cover gaskets, um, rebuilt the ABS unit, spark plugs I've done twice, um, oil, the oil separator valves I've done, the um, fuel purge valve which causes that check engine light, I replaced that. Some of the vacuum hoses underneath the plenum have been replaced. Um, all four rotors and uh, pads I did. The um, brake lines in the engine bay. I've seen a lot of people lately having those leak on them, so I figured it'd be a good idea to do that uh, preventatively. Um, did the water pump, did the thermostat, um, Vanos oil lines, since that all had to be a part anyway. Um, I do most of the work myself. It was Some of it's done by a shop called Moonlight Motor Works in Gilbertsville, Pennsylvania. When uh, If the work is a little bit beyond what I my capabilities or if it's just I don't have time. Um, Let's see what else. I've also done front suspension wise, I've replaced the sway bar bushings, I've replaced uh, both control arms, the outer tie rods, I used um, power flex black bushings for the thrust arms, um, did rear suspension, I've replaced rear guide links, rear ball joints, um, the rear diff mounts have been replaced, with, oh, the two rear ones are OEM, and then the um, the front diff mount is a unicorn solid mount that was installed and also had the subframe uh, re that front diff mount reinforced since that's a common area where it will break. Um, also replaced the drive shaft off the center support bearing, the CV joint, and the guibo, uh, shifter bushings, trans mounts, engine mounts. Pretty much touched almost everything on this car. Um, only other maintenance I really need to do is the um, power steering hoses and I just want to replace the um, radiator and expansion tank just to be safe. Maybe also the alternator. I try to replace items that I know if they would potentially break it would leave me stranded or cut and just cause uh, potential further issues. Um, I've also done the fuel filter and fuel pump. The fuel pump went on me on my way to work one morning in Philly which was not fun but I was able to get the part replaced the same day thanks to uh, my friends over at Bimmer Zone, I worked over in Westchester at the time, so I just had the car towed to them. Um, as far as exterior mods, um, I have the Slimbones front lip, you can see here. Also the just front grills off of a 525 and 530, I kind of like that they don't have as much chrome. Also have the uh, Depot headlight covers, which overall I like, I just wish they didn't have the writing in them, which you can probably see if I get up close here. Um, also has, you can see the active auto work air intake. It's actually ducted for the brakes and the air intake so the brakes uh, receive cooling as well. Kind of move along to the side, you can see the wheels. The wheels are 18 inch by 9 inch in the front, 18 by 10 in the rear. They are OZ Meadow Type 2's that I bought up five years ago or so and I converted them from two to three piece. Um, their offset up front with the spacer is positive three and the rear is that positive ten. So a little on the aggressive side, it might be a little bit much for some people with the polished lips but I really love the look. I think the wheels complement this car really well although I would like to get 
a get a set of stock wheels in nice shape just because I really do like the way the style 65s look on these cars as well. I had a set but they were in bad shape and I, I sold them and actually got a pretty good deal uh, price for them so I can't really I'm not really mad about that going forward. Also as far as the paintwork goes on this car as far as I know it is all original with the exception of the front bumper which I just recently had repainted and also the lower the, the headlight trim I had that repainted as well. The car could overall use probably a good paint correction. I'm not sure exactly how it'll come across in the video. It's in pretty good shape, but I plan on doing a paint correction myself in the next month or so in preparation for the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, which I will be attending in uh, it's kind of mid-late July. Moving on to this, the rear here, you can see I did the Hella Sealess taillight conversion. Um, they were originally on my 528. But when I parted that car out, I decided to go ahead and um, put them on this car. I like the, I really like the LED look that these have. It was the retrofit kit, so it came with the ballast. So there was no uh, messing around with the wiring, just the typical, had to drill new holes for, to get these to mount and also had to do a little bit of bashing in, in like this area here, but nothing too bad. I had done it before, so I was experienced there. It actually has a rear view camera here. I've never seen one like that before set up. It's a little weird. The picture quality is decent. I think eventually I'll change it to one that is in this kind of button here instead. But for now it works. And then you also see I have the Super Sprint Magnum mufflers along with a, it has a Super Sprint X-Pipe as well and a uh, carbon fiber rear diffuser. I'm not sure on the brand for the diffuser. It was something a previous owner had installed. Going around, um, it ha does have window tint. I'm not sure the exact percentage. It was something a previous owner had done. It looks to be about 30% or so. But I'm probably forgetting some of the items here and there. There's been so many things I've done over the years to my cars that it's kind of... They all start to blend in a little bit here and there, but uh, we'll take a look on the interior. I'll show you the back seat first. It does have uh, sunshades. These are broken. Need to. Um, I have them kind of shoved in for now. I need to get those fixed, but that's kind of on the list for once more of the maintenance is complete with this car. Um, but you'll see it has the Mola interior, which is back seat's in very good shape. Looks like hardly anyone's ever, has ever sit, sat back here. Um, it has the fold-down seats, which has been nice at times, but I kind of wish it didn't so it wouldn't creak. It has the rear power sunshade, which still works. Um, you see it has cocoa mats in the rear here, and I deleted the center cup holder there for just the little storage tray. The cup holders were, were not uh, broken, but I knew they would get broken eventually, so just went ahead and got rid of them. Do a little view from back here you can see um i have i don't know how long well it's going to come across in the video here but um alcantara sun visors they're from i believe i bought them from latvia off of ebay so they don't have um the warning stickers on them which is nice also have the uh, facelift steering wheel and facelift gauge cluster the gauge cluster was done under warranty when the car was pretty new uh, the steering wheel I got from AZA Auto Wheel on Instagram. Very nice quality, I really like it. Much better than the pre facelift wheel in my opinion. Also have a Xtrons head unit running Android 8. Previously had an aftermarket uh, Pioneer unit which I wasn't a huge fan of so for the price that these go for I can't complain. Has the ZHP shift knob which it's getting a little worn. I'm kind of picky about stuff, but for now it's fine. I might switch to something else in the future. Go back to the um, one-piece knob, knob and boot that comes stock on these cars. Um, as you can see also I have the technical graphite trim in this car, which I I like. I mean, I like the uh, Titan line trim as well, but I just like this a little bit better. Um, also have a Euro armrest. You can see this open up give you some storage in there got that off Latvia from eBay as well um, let's see show you the front seats are a little worn nothing perfect here but 
maybe eventually have them touched up with some dye. Um, door panel is in pretty decent shape. And I have the BMW pedals there. Nice little upgrade over stock, along with the Coco mats up front as well. See the all the buttons there. Everything's in pretty good shape on this car. I had the mirror fixed by radar mirror. What started to leak down bubble. We all know that issue. I'll go ahead and uh, start it up here. already warmed up so nothing too crazy um go ahead and show the engine bay quick which at the moment is actually it could use a full detail um if i'm honest but it'll do for now let's see that have the uh, good old yellow expansion tank like i said that's on the list to get replaced but overall it's pretty quiet just did the valve cover gaskets um, about a month ago, a month and a half ago, with some spark plugs and a couple other items. And it's all running very well right now. Um, also replaced these, this firewall cover back here. Um, that was all cracked and falling apart. The new pieces were $130 a piece, so I suggest if yours are cracked and you want to replace them, I'll replace them soon before they get even more expensive. So that pretty much does it there. Uh, I'm just going to cover some future plans I have for the car. Uh, one, which I'm going to do very soon, to replace this uh, windshield cowl. That really bothers me. Uh, I'm going to do that soon. I'm going to rent uh, the wiper arm folders and go ahead and do that myself. Uh, also, as far as future mods, I really... Um, nothing great. I don't really have anything small planned. I really just want to do a big brake kit. Probably either Brembo or StopTech. And then, also, I would love to do headers, whether it's Super Sprint Evolve. I would like to do Unicorn, but they're very expensive, so we'll see how that goes. But um, overall, the car is treating me well. I enjoy driving it on, finally, this nice weather we're having out here in uh, PA. So hopefully everyone likes my car. If anyone has any uh, questions or comments, criticisms, whatever it is, I'll be happy to uh, try to answer to whatever I, whatever I can. And of course, gotta have the Michelins. All right, thanks guys.